So here we are, 6.54, Reddish North Station, on the latest of my mystery commutes around Greater Manchester to show people the reality of what it's like traveling around our city region. And today we're focusing on disability access. And I'm with my good friend, Nathaniel, who's been making your own video uh, about what it's like, particularly at this train station. It's not great, is it? It's uh, absolutely horrible. It's um, the step for access is a part, well, it doesn't really exist on that side of the platform over there. If you're coming from Manchester, yeah. somebody who's really got mobility problems, yeah. what do you do? You can't access it. Think about the injuries it could cause if somebody's trying to get over there using a stick or mobility problems. They could potentially fall down the stairs. You look at parents with buggies as well. The thing is, it's out of bounds to yeah. a lot of people who live yeah. in, this, in this area. Yeah. That's just yeah. straightforward discrimination, isn't it? Yeah. So we want to do a trip today, don't we? But as you've just shown us, we can't use this station. So we're going to have to get a bus, aren't we, to our, to our, next, uh, our next stop. Cheers. Thank you. What made you start the position? I just got fed up and I noticed there was a lot of train stations that weren't accessible. If Network Rail had a plan to sort out every train station in Greater Manchester to make it accessible, I, I, I wouldn't necessarily have an argument to say, go, oh, hand them over to us. But they haven't got a plan to do that. So if you're responsible for them, expect many phone calls to your office. I, I, I probably yeah. expect a hot, you'll have a hotline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if this was a bus in London, yeah. it would say next stop. Yeah. on a screen. What I want is, I want there to be a standard Greater Manchester bus. Always the same layout inside, audio-visual yeah. announcements. Yeah. Everyone should know what's going to pull up at the bus stop, because yeah. that will give disabled people confidence to use the system when they know for certain what is going to arrive. So here we are, Levenshume train station over the road. Another, in another inaccessible train station. Um, yeah, another accessible train station that needs to change. Let's hope we can eventually get the change. Can we walk up to the station? Yep, we will do. <laughs> so you and I are going to yeah. have to, you're going to have to walk up these steps now, aren't we? Yeah. So let's take your time. This is a hand. Take yeah. your time. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, two three, three, four, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 13 14, 14, 15, 15 16, 16, 17, 18, 19, right, 20, 20 so far. Hi mate. Hello. How are you? 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 29. Look at all them stairs. How many? 45? Yeah, 45. I said... 45 I, steps. I said one's too many, but... <laughs> Look at, look at 45, how many there is. I said one's too many, but 45 is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Nobody's going to be able to access this that's so got a, a, a serious walking impairment, or is a wheelchair, or is a wheelchair user, or a parent with a buggy. It's absolutely ridiculous. If I, were, I, I feel furious for I'm you. I'm outraged. I feel, honestly, I feel furious for you, to be honest, because it shouldn't be like it's this. It's an outrage in this day and age, in, 20, in the 21st century we have a lack of facilities. Let's go on the platform. Like this. Ridiculous. I'm going to be fair now, the government published a national disability yep. strategy yesterday and I'm not going to criticise it for the sake of it. Yep. There were some positive sounding things in there. What did you make yep. of it? If the uh, Prime Minister actually listens to me, yeah. he would know some stations are accessible and the yeah. people in government in some ways, the audit's done, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, we know, it's done. We know the problems. We know. Yeah. And I suppose our appeal, me and you, to the government is... Yeah. ...pay for it or devolve them devolve. to Greater Manchester yeah. and help us to do it, yeah? Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Left this station as barriers may be in use. Now, and please remember you're a United fan, aren't you? Yeah. If you see anything suspicious... How, how do you feel when you see the home of the Premier League British champions? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible.
Look at that gap. That's a bit of a gap from your point of view, it isn't it? It is, yeah. I saw you that, then, you had to stretch. That's so dangerous, you? that, you know. Hi, mate, you're okay. This is the Piccadilly Metrolink station. Yeah. And we actually have a lift. It's the stairs, but we do have a lift, don't we? We do have a lift. Nathaniel, it's been a pleasure yeah. being with you this morning. Um, I think we've got a good picture of what's wrong here and what's, what needs to change. What's your final reflection on what we've done this morning? My final thoughts and reflections is it's a really good video. It gives a great insight into the problems, but we need to be listened to and we need, we need, um, we need uh, all transport to come under one banner and we really need to keep pushing for that change because nothing is going to change. We need everything to be accessible for all. We need it to be a level playing field, really, for all. You know, everybody should be able to access public transport, no matter who you are. Well, I honestly don't need to... I can't add anything to that. You've said it all. And as I say, all power to you. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, hope, yeah. I'm hoping yeah. Yeah. that people across the country are listening yeah. uh, to your voice, because uh, you're speaking for a lot of people. Thank you. Thanks very much.